Okay, three guesses what holiday I am celebrating. Happy Thanksgiving! Hey, that was 1961 when the Plymouth colonist and the Wampanoag Indians, or the Wampanoag Indians, first shared an autumn harvest feast, which is considered to be the first Thanksgiving celebration. So here we are, 387 years later, now me saying to you on Blog World, Happy Thanksgiving. And um, I thought it might be kind of fun this Thanksgiving for me to share with you some of the people that I am most thankful for. So if you will come with me, and my hat will take a little pilgrimage, and I'll show you some of those people. So, come on. <laughs> this is my brother. This is Herb. My brother, Herb, say hi. to These are my blog friends. And hi, come friends. And visit from my blog. Blogville. They live in Blogville. And um, this is my brother, Herb, and I'm thankful for my brother, Herb. Say hi, Herb. There he is. See ya. Okay, now, as you can imagine, these are two of my most thankful items. I didn't say that right. Thank These are two of the, the things I'm most thankful for. This is Stevie Joy. Stevie Joy. And this is and my dad, Shohanna Hope. Shohanna Hope Chapman. And you've probably seen them before. Pictures, but maybe you've never actually seen them in, in moving <coughs> pictures. So here they are. <laughs> are we... <laughs> are we are we um are we having a good are we going to have a wonderful Thanksgiving? Yeah! So say happy Thanksgiving everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Fade out. Fade out. Fade out. This is Max and I am still working on being thankful for Max. This is something that I'm working at. And number one of all things, here, let me get this framed in. Lovely right. wife. My, lo my lovely wife. This is my lovely my sweet Ralphie. heart Thanksgiving treasure, Mary Beth Chapman. Right here, yes, we also are. Any words for our blog friends? This is a happy Thanksgiving. This is happy Thanksgiving. Happy. Are we allowed they to tell them nice. what we're thankful for? Yes, yes, you know. Yes. Is it? Oh, well, I don't think we're going to tell them. When is your anniversary? Oh, does Caleb know? Do we have permission? When is your anniversary? Go ahead, tell them, <laughs> tell them, and then we'll ask permission later. No, forgiveness later. Forgiveness, okay, yes. <laughs> yes. We have news. What is our news? What is our news? On your birthday, November 21st, our son Caleb. Yeah. What? To whom? Julia. 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 Yay. We're gonna have a spring wedding date, not to be disclosed. Okay. I know the we'll date. tell you later. Oops. No. The no. Date. Can't. Can't tell. No. Can't tell. No. Can't tell. No. Can't tell. Can't tell. Here's. I know what date. It I know, but is, we can't though. tell people yet. It's a big secret. It's a big secret. We'll tell you in a little while. But it's a big secret. But it's a big secret. <laughs> <laughs> I better sign off now because we're going to get in lots of trouble. See you, bye. So there you have it. Some of the people that I am most thankful for this Thanksgiving season. And uh, thanks for letting me share that with you. And also, um, thank you. Uh, again, I just want to say from my family how grateful we are this Thanksgiving season for all of you who have prayed for us, who have uh, remembered us. Please continue as you think of us. To pray, obviously, this is um, the first, you know, Thanksgiving season, the first holiday season, with uh, our sweet Maria being in heaven and us still being here. Um, so we appreciate your prayers. We are very grateful, and even with the uh, uh, continued heaviness, obviously, of our hearts, we have so much to be thankful for. Um, Hebrews twelve. I was just reading this. Um, let me read this to you. Hebrews 12, 28 says this, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful, and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. We are in the process of receiving. We haven't fully received it, but a kingdom that is unshakable. And uh, so much has been shaken in our lives this year and in our world. And... Um, 
So that's just something I encourage you to, to think on and, and meditate on and ponder this Thanksgiving uh, along with us. And one last thing, um, I've been thinking about, I don't know where this comes from, these random thoughts that uh, inspire songs, but I was, I think, reading a newspaper article, but just thinking about President Bush leaving office, and um, obviously we need to continue to pray for those who are newly elected administration coming into office. And uh, But I've just, my heart has kind of been going out to President Bush and just watching kind of this transfer after these eight years and walking through and leading us really as a country through um, some incredibly difficult times. Um, and I don't know, I, don't, I can't imagine what it would have been like to walk in his shoes um, for all the different opinions, good, bad, and all of that that people have about, um, about the last eight years. I just felt like this song needed to be written and this letter needed to be written for me personally um, to say thank you. And uh, so this is a song uh, that is, uh, I'm going to share with you. It's a little Thanksgiving gift for you, my friends. Hope you like it. Um, a song called Goodbye, Mr. President. And uh, so thank you. God bless y'all. Have a happy, great Thanksgiving. And um, I'll talk to you again soon. All right. God bless you. Thanks. Bye.